Hey, hey, hey. And welcome back to the channel, everybody. How are you all doing? So what I did, guys, is I actually got in contact with Craig from Performance 351. I asked him to have a look at the video and give me some feedback on how I'd gone with getting uh, this combustion chamber mod sorted out. The difficulties, are, and what I wondered about was, uh, even though Craig's pictures and his information uh, that he provided us in part six was awesome, it was really hard to tell from those photos whether these were straight cuts, right? So whether they were cuts that were just straight down into the chamber or whether they had been laid back, all right? I couldn't really tell from the pictures how they were, okay? For example, where I've de-shrouded the intake valve along this side, okay? That is straight down. That's just a straight cut with a tiny radius at the top blending into the face of the cylinder head here, all right? Whereas from around here, where I've started to do this relief cut here to uh, help with uh, detonation resistance, that's laid back on an angle, all right? Same with this one here. That's laid back all the way in here. It's just naturally sort of how I did it. Whereas here, I did a straight cut. These are also straight with a small radius on the top. And this part here next to our exhaust valve on the spark plug port side is also pretty well straight, uh, not not angled. Anyway, so Craig got back to me and he, and he sent me some of these pictures. He was very apologetic because uh, he uh, wished that he'd sent these earlier because it would have cleared things up. He, he put a ruler, as you can see in these pictures, on um, the valves, showing how these cuts are actually done the way he does them. And you can tell by looking at these that Craig, uh, this is not his first rodeo with uh, doing this port work. Uh, uh, he's, he's no slouch with a, with a die grinder. As you can see, they're beautifully angled back. So it, what he's emulating here and what we're doing with this mod, guys, is basically we are emulating modern day uh, combustion chambers. This is how they're, they're made with these angle cuts, all right? So, of course, I went into panic mode because I can't do that now, right? I'm, I'm already right out at the tolerances of my um, head gasket bore and I can't lay this back because otherwise I'm going to be eating in too far under the head gasket. I've got to leave it as it is, right? So I said to him, is that going to matter? That that is straight rather than angled? And he said, you know what? You've de-shrouded that valve. It's way better than it was when it was stock. Uh, it's not as ideal as an angle cut, but it's better than what it was. Don't worry about it, which was a major relief for myself, as you can imagine. So my next question to him was, well, what about the next combustion chamber? Should I do that? So then when I do this same cut, instead of doing a, a straight cut, it's a little bit hard for you guys to see. I'm sort of blocking my shadow there, blocks what I'm talking about. Should I do a straight cut on this or should I lay it back and angle it? He said, if he was doing this just for his own motor, he would do all the rest of the combustion chambers on the angle laid back. But if he was doing it for a customer, because he'd done one like this, he'd do them all the same. Because otherwise, the customer would whinge at him, all right? They'd come to pick up the heads and they go, oh, how come that one's straight and these are laid back? You, you know the routine, mate. You, you can understand. So he said, because it's yours and you're not going to worry about it, I'd do all the others laid back. He said, it's up to you. I trust Craig. Uh, in what he's telling you. He's got no reason to bullshit me um, about that sort of stuff. So have a look at those pictures that he sent with the way that uh, these angles have all been laid back. You, you'll see it really clearly with the ruler, particularly on the intake valve and the exhaust. And you guys, I would say, if you're going to do this mod, you might as well do it like Craig has done it uh, to get the best result you possibly can. All right, I also had a question on the channel. How long is this actually going to take? Fair question, okay. I've uh, touted a few different figures of how long things are taking me, but you have to take into account that I'm talking about uh, how long it's taking me to do things when I'm filming, all right? The fact of the matter is that if I could just concentrate on one cylinder doing the runner, the boss, the bowl blend, the exhaust port, the combustion chamber, I reckon if I just went hard and got into a groove, I could have the whole, all the elements in the porting done in an hour and a half. So that'll give you an idea, an hour and a half times eight. 
you have to take that into uh, consideration with how long it's going to take you to do this. I think it is well worth it. I know from experience with my last port and uh, the huge difference it made to my car. And here's an example, right? So then uh, it's a little bit clearer with the, with, with the difference this made. Before I did the port on my uh, 302 2V cylinder heads that are currently on my 393, I couldn't spin my uh, rear wheels in second gear. Now, I can spin my wheels in second gear, okay? That's what this porting did. That's how much torque it increased uh, for my engine, all right? So for me, it's a, it's, it's a tangible difference, okay? So I would tell you, and I can tell you with confidence, if you do this, you are going to get a tangible benefit that you will notice straight away when you get in your car after putting these cylinder heads on your engine. Right, I'm going to now smooth all of this stuff here that I've done and radius uh, these, all of these to the head face better than they are at the moment. Then we're going to call it a day on that. Let's get smooth in this. Haha, -ha, but before I smooth this, I need to uh, do a little bit more. Craig pointed out when he looked at this, he said, where I've done the relief here for the detonation resistance, I need to do a little bit more here on the edge. You can see where I've colored it in there. He said, take a bit more of that out there. So it's more around this area of the intake valve. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to match it in with this. I'm just going to blend it in there and then I can start smoothing. So I'm going to do that now. All I'm trying to do, guys, is uh, smooth some of the channels that I've created with the carbide. It's a, it's a little bit uneven. All I'm doing with this is just taking those out. So there's no lumps and bumps.
Beautiful. Much better. I've still got to uh, do a lot of work inside the combustion chamber here, uh, but we saw how I did that in the very first combustion chamber video, so we won't do all that again. You can just watch that one to see what the internal work is done. Bloody annoying, isn't it? Uh, now, I'm gonna turn this cylinder around so I can work on these, this side, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do at the end to, I think, make this a better result, especially with the radiusing around the top of the combustion chamber. Gotta make sure this is still in the shot, and it is. This really is an excellent, excellent tool for doing this smoothing work. pneumatic air tool this guy here okay and this is a special tool that I've got that takes uh, like a flexible sanding pad all right they're, they're they're not sandpaper they're like scouring pads okay with different grits this is a medium all right I'm going to use this to basically just quickly run around the top like this to basically put a nice radius on the top
that's uh, how that combustion chamber will finish up. Let's have a look at the stock one. You can see how shrouded the intake valve is here compared to how we've opened it up there. The exhaust, right, compared to how we've opened it up around here. That's where I'm leaving it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And until I see you in the video, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.